welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Whoever doesn't know me, my name is Svetlana. And today I'm going to show you a very exciting dish. Beef chorfan. Yes, it's Chinese takeout dish and you could make it so fast in your own home and it's absolutely delicious. Honestly, it tastes better than any beef chorfan that I ever tried. So, let's go over the ingredients. For this recipe, we're going to need bean sprout. I used to buy it in an uh, Asian store. I found it in uh, Petmart. Bean sprout. We need um, the flank steak that we're gonna cut thin right now. I'm gonna show you how I cut it and marinate it. We need baking soda, corn starch, soy sauce, vegetable oil. That's for marinade. For the rest of the dish, we're gonna need sugar, a few slices of ginger, scallion, a white pepper, and this is tracks and wine. I cannot pronounce it. It's different companies. You go to an Asian market and you just say it's a sweet rice cooking wine. It gives an amazing flavor. Without this ingredients, you're not gonna get that, that taste. So, dark soy sauce, of course, sesame oil, and we also need rice noodles. They sell them in a different packaging. Sometimes they could be already sliced. Sometimes they could come in a whole piece that we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna show you how to prep it. You gotta put it in the microwave for a certain amount of time and then you're gonna slice it. I'm gonna show you everything. And once everything is ready, it's gonna take us a few minutes to cook it. It's super duper fast. So let's begin by marinating our meat. And now we need to cut our meat. I have about half a pound of meat. And again, this portion I'm gonna write all in my description, in the description, under the little error, all the proportions, how much meat, how much marinade, how much of everything for this portion. So now we need to slice our meat to one eighth of an inch. Very, very thin. I have my new knife that it makes this job easier for me. So just like that, like very, very thin, cutting our meat. And this is how it looks. This how thin it should be. Now our meat is sliced. We take everything in the bowl. We need to marinate our meat and let it sit for an hour. So that's the only thing that takes some time to marinate in meat. You could marinate it in the morning, put it in the refrigerator, and then cook it at night. So, okay, to that, we're gonna add one foot of a teaspoon of baking soda. We're gonna add one teaspoon of cornstarch. One teaspoon of regular soy sauce. And one teaspoon of vegetable oil. We're gonna massage everything into our meat. Now my meat has been marinated for an hour and now I'm gonna prep my rice noodle. So what I do here, I just go by the instruction. It says, remove noodles from packaging, put it in the microwave for three minutes. And that's it. You could also defreeze it on the stove top. Everything is here in the description. So it says either you boil it in the water for a few minutes or you put it in the microwave for three minutes. So I do it in a microwave and sometimes you could find them already cut, pre-cut, but I never found it. I always find like a whole big thing of it. I'm gonna put in the microwave for three minutes and I'll show you what we're gonna do with it next. Noodles were defrosted in the microwave and now I'm just gonna slice them like that and right now you see how they break apart and you just get those noodles just like that just cut them thicker or thinner it's literally literally up to you okay now our noodles are separated then after I cut them I separated them with my hands so they like basically look like that. And uh, I'm gonna make my sauce. Everything needs to be ready because it's gonna be cooked very fast. So we're gonna make everything pre-made already, our sauce and everything. So one, two, three, it's done. Okay, we need two tablespoons of regular soy sauce. We're gonna need two teaspoons of 
dark soy sauce. And we're gonna need half a teaspoon of sesame oil. I love sesame oil. Everything tastes so good with sesame oil. And we need one eighth of a teaspoon of sugar. Just a pinch of sugar will do. We're gonna mix everything. So this mixture is ready for us. All right, my friends, let's begin. We're working very fast right now. So we're adding about one and a half tablespoon of oil. And we need to get our wok with our oil really, really hot because our meat, we're gonna be frying very fast. So now we place our beef. And guys, it has to be one layer. So if it's not enough room, you gotta do it two times. Make sure you spin your oil around and continue searing the meat until it's going to be brown. So you see this one is ready. This one is ready and we just turn it just like that. But I got a better idea how to turn my meat and it's much, much easier like this. We're using tongues. So now we need to fry our meat until to this golden brown color. And now we're gonna transfer our meat to a plate. A little more oil. And we're gonna throw our ginger and let it cook for about 30 seconds. That's it, because it's just gonna infuse the oil with ginger and that's it. Then we're gonna add our scallion and let it cook for another 30 seconds or so. So now we're adding our noodles and let it cook for another 30 seconds. Now we add two tablespoons of the wine, oopsie, on the edges. On the edges of the wok, we add like about two tablespoons of the wine and let it cook for another 15 seconds. Now we're gonna get all our mixture in of the soy sauces and everything together with our meat. Oh, I have everything here. My tonsils or whatever you call it, my pork, all that stuff. Now we mix everything well we add a pinch of white pepper and now guys you could try for the salt if it's enough salt to you you don't add any more if you need to add a little more then you add a little more and now the final step we're adding our Bean sprout, we're gonna cook it for about a few more minutes until it's tender. A few minutes will do. A beef chafan is totally ready. And I'm gonna plate it and try it. I'm trying, who is with me? I hope you're gonna be with me very soon after you watch this video, after you make it and try it with me. And also tell me how much you love it because guys i swear this is so much better than takeout i mean i don't want to disrespect and uh, all our beautiful chinese restaurant who make delicious food for us but this is so much better personally you make it yourself you know what you put inside you try to make it a little healthier and guys this is absolutely delicious who doesn't trust me should make it and try it. Meat is so tender and juicy and noodles. Oh my God, perfect, perfect cook to perfection. Stay with me, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of my videos and write me comments. I wanna know how much you love the recipe and of course, thumb up and see you next time, bye-bye.